What's up enthusiasts? Today we've got, well, a decent amount of stuff to open here. I know what most of this is. I believe I know what most of it is. I'm pretty excited about all of it actually, very much so for this. But we're going to do this last, I think. That came from Singapore. This came from Singapore, I believe. Uh, these both came from other places. Let's go ahead and start with this one first, shall we? Now, two of these have caution lithium battery uh, warnings on them, which is a little confusing to me. One of them should, but uh, I, I don't. I don't know. Let, let's let's see. I want to be a little bit. You know, let's grab the scissors because if there is a battery in here, I don't want to run the risk of puncturing it. That uh, would lead to a bad time. It's not ideal, not, not really what you want to do. Um, okay. Yeah, she reflex. Oh, okay, I know why I had battery in here. Okay, so these are for my Caliburn. Now, for the first time ever when shooting a Nerf Blaster, I've actually felt like there's... There, I wish I had some sort of sighting. And it's it's such a strange and foreign concept to me to uh, want to have a sight for a Nerf Blaster. Like, I don't... It seems so odd to me. But when I was doing the range testing for the um, scar, or scar Barrel... I, I was actually having to sight things in using uh, kind of just areas around off of the top of the blaster and whatnot. And so it's like, all right, well, I guess, I guess maybe it's time. So I've got this and then this little piece right here, which may not be enough actually, or maybe just enough. No, not enough. Shoot. This was to mount the sight off to the side. And off to the side because I can't put it directly on the front of the, or the top of the Picatinny rail on the Caliburn because my gimbal will be going there. So my gimbal is going to be in the way. So I have to have this offset slightly angled 45 degrees, which is what we'll be doing here. Uh, so hopefully this will work, even though it's slightly shorter, but we'll, we'll test it out. We'll find out. But that's what that is for. Still, like I said, a very strange concept to me to start using a site for a Nerf Blaster, but it seemed warranted and seemed like something worth trying, so here we are. All right, let's do the other box that says lithium ion battery because I know where this came from and what this is. This came from Hobby King, and uh, again, going with scissors on this one because, well, I don't really want to puncture a battery. That doesn't sound like a great afternoon to me. It sounds like a pretty pretty good way to spoil it, even though these scissors are not great. Not, you know, I probably should have been a little bit more prepared, you know, that whole Boy Scout motto thing. But, uh, I, I, I never made it to Eagle Scout, so clearly I, did, I didn't learn enough. All right, just, 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 just tear this open, yeah? All right. So we have more than just a battery. We have the battery, and we also have one of the magnetic uh, trays. So when I'm taking the blaster apart, I can drop the screws in there and not, you know, have to worry about losing them. So that's 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 a nice little plus. But this this is the battery that will be going in the Fabu Strife. If I can find where the tape ends and the box begins, there we go. Now that box is like exploding and not not uh, filling with the most confidence here but what we have in here if I can get you out of the package is one of those high discharge bolt v2s so this is 65 to 130 C at a thousand milliamps so this this should be able to handle two fangs on 3S uh, with 130C burst, I believe this we we should be all right. I hope we'll be all right, but I'm gonna have to find a uh, battery tray replacement cover because I don't believe this will fit. I believe it's just a few millimeters too tall. But 
I'm glad. I'm glad we had this. Hobby King had a sale, so I got this for a few bucks off, which was great. I always, you know, like saving money when I can. Uh, so this, this is something I'm very, very excited about. Really, really looking forward to doing that build as it should be just a fantastically fun thing to do on stream with all of you. Uh, and uh, I look forward to documenting it and having fun in stream, you know, even though I will be making some mistakes, I'm sure. Uh, that's, you know, part of the process and part of learning. And uh, we'll, we'll end up with hopefully a great blaster, a great Fabu Strife finally out of the deal. But let's get to this next one, which is like i said from singapore maybe you maybe maybe you have a have an idea what we got now i wonder i wonder what these are oh i love the packaging for these so good i whether you like these or not you got to admit the packaging is just fantastic for these absolutely awesome i love it and uh, let me let me go ahead and turn up the lights a little bit because I don't think it's really showing quite as well as it should. But great packaging. And this to me is it's just something that is it's good for the professionalism of the hobby that we get things that look nice in packages, that look nice when they're on display at retail locations. These could be at a retail location, which is important for the growth of our hobby. Um, so I really, really hope that more and more companies start packaging their products and thinking about the way they look on shelves and things like that. But that's, that's enough of that. I, I ordered these uh, because I've been wanting to try out the Katana system. I love how small they are. I, I've been on the fence for quite a while, but watching videos of people using them and gameplay and, and just how much space they save, I really wanted to give them a try. Um, I was initially thinking I'd just buy, you know, three, but since I was already paying for the shipping and I want to have enough of them to actually use them in games and not have to worry about running out. We'll have less worry about running out of, of darts and whatnot. I went with five. I want to be able to do a full loadout, um, at least to start a decent size loadout and get a good idea of how they perform and how they function and all of that. And uh, go from there because I want to give you guys a good in-depth review of my thoughts of all these. Now, the only blaster I have that can really use these at the moment is the Caliburn. Uh, so I will need to be doing some adjustments since I have a earlier Caliburn than the newer one that has the magwell that works. But maybe that'll be a workbench Wednesday to uh, adjust this piece and the Caliburn to work. But that that is something I am absolutely stoked about and glad to have and looking forward to choosing. Hopefully they perform well. Now, this also comes from Singapore. I know who this is from. I know, I should know what's in here. I'm sure I'm not cutting anything here. This comes to us from Hat, who if you watch This Week in Nerf, you know I've featured recently. I absolutely love, let's see what we got here. We got, Jang, we'll find a sticker and patch just for you. You're the, you'll be the only one outside the team to have our patch. Keep on making awesome videos that bring the international community together. Hack.exe, you guys. You guys are awesome. That is so cool of you guys. Thank you so much. I didn't realize I'd be the only one. Oh, these are green too? And purple. Oh, I didn't realize. That's so cool. Okay. I don't know if this is picking it up, but in the images I'd seen like on Instagram and everything, I thought it was just all white, which looked cool enough on its own. But on the left side, it's like a neon green. On the, the right side, it's a purple, like a, like a digital display kind of uh, effect of that ghosting and kind of, you know, like it's being hacked look. Oh, I love it. That is so cool. I did not realize that it had this on there as well. And it's already backed with the, with the hook. So we're going to put this right on the patch board as soon as we're done filming this. And let's, let's see this, let's see this boom. There it is as well. A hack, the hack sticker. I got to find a good place for stickers. Now we got the patch board. we got to find something for stickers. This is awesome. Thank you so much, all of Hack. I love what you guys are doing over there. I know um, I've, I've talked with a few of you and, you know, Mintu doing the, uh, the quick flag games, which I absolutely love watching and can't wait to see more. This is a super nice note, too. Thank you guys so much. I didn't realize I would be the only person outside of the team with one. I am absolutely honored and thrilled as I love 
love what you guys are doing and that you're you're building the community over there in Singapore for that com competitive scene. And I, I'm seeing more teams come out uh, on Instagram and, and whatnot. You know, I see GBI, TNT, um, and some others as well. So I think it's awesome you guys have a flourishing scene for not only high power, but competitive and other options as well. So thank you guys so much. This is absolutely awesome. I am honored and I, uh, I will both display it and wear it with pride when I do. So thank you so much for that. That I am, uh, I'm actually, I'm stoked. There's so much stuff to do right now and things to get ready. I gotta get these going for hopefully the game this weekend. See if I can get these rocking. And then the other stuff, we got the lipo. I'm gonna have to use this as well. We got a bunch of stuff that came in today, came in this week and I, uh, well, I love unboxing. I had fun opening this. Hopefully you guys had a good time hanging out and watching this as well. Again, if anyone wants to send me anything, the PO box is down below. I welcome, uh, you know, whether it's letters, whether it's whether it's random, you know, stuff, as long as it's appropriate, I look forward to sharing that with all of you because this is a ton of fun to do. And I, uh, I don't know, I just love hanging out with all you guys and, and making videos. So what do you think of everything here? What do you think of the Katana mags? What do you think of, uh, yeah, everything. I'm just rambling now because I'm just looking to like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go put this up and I'm gonna get working on these. So I'm gonna stop rambling now. Thank you all so much for being here. Uh, if you're new to the channel and enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button for more in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.